Good day to everyone, I'm Mad Wantamad and welcome to another video here at Made Farms. For today's video, we are going to show you how to start up your Black Soldier Fly Larvae Bin. Let us start by setting up the base for our pod. So these are 4 inch hollow blocks that will serve as our stand for our pod. We need the elevation so we can capture and drain the leachate from our pod. Our base is now aligned so we're now ready to place our pod on top of our stand. Make sure our pod is leveled so it won't topple when we use it. Now we are ready to assemble our pod. Let's remove the inner cover, then the outer cover. Then we will add our harvesting containers, one on each side of our pod. So we have two harvesting containers, one on each side to catch our larvae. To prevent excess moisture in our pod and to prevent our drains from clogging, we are now adding rice straw into the base of our pod. We will place rice straw on top of our drain tube to prevent it from clogging when we put waste in our pod. This is the ramp our larvae will use to self-harvest and exit our pod when it's full. It will go down the funnel and fall into our harvesting container. Now we're ready to add waste and food scraps into our pod. Now let's cover the pod so we can start the process of converting your waste into protein. Now let's go to a BS pod that has been running for a week. So here we have a working BS pod so let us open our pod to see if the larvae is doing its job. Here we can see some black soldier fly larvae eggs laid on our inner cover. We also have eggs laid on the edge of our outer cover. Now let's look at the inside of our pod. Here we have coconut husks so there will be more dry and clean areas for our adult female to lay her eggs in. Here we have a chicken and a chick and some kitchen scraps for the larvae to consume and convert it into insect protein. In order to prevent foul odor, we make sure there's no excess moisture in our pod.
to lessen the moisture in your pod, you can either drain your pod or add dry straw to the area where liquid is accumulating. So after a few days, let us now examine our pod. So these are the remains of the chicken and the chick. We can see some of the larvae crawling up the ramp and exiting our pod. Here we have some eggs that are ready to hatch and fall into our pod. Here we can see some of the larvae falling into the funnel and into our harvesting container. Now let's remove the harvesting container and harvest some of the larvae. Feeding time!
So thumbs up if you want to see how we designed our odorless chicken coop you see at the back. So there you have it, starting your black soldier fly larvae bin. Again, thank you for watching our videos. To learn more about how we make farming easy here at Made Farms, subscribe to my YouTube channel Madoda or add us on Facebook Modular Aquaponics. See you in the next videos. Shh, I'm trying to farm here. <laughs>